this example, we're going to show how on Route 5 we'll create a remnant which can be used to nest other parts into after it's been created. So here I have an example of a, a part on screen that I want to create a few copies of and nest. I'm going to have the part selected and it's outside of the plate. I'm going to go to the nesting tab. I have shape nesting selected. Let's create nine of these parts. Small gap. Uh, we're going to not nest the original here. We are going to allow it to uh, go 90 degrees. And I'm going to hit uh, the left middle here and hit apply. So uh, with having cr create remnant check, I see that over here I created actually a, a 2D shape that represents the unused portion of the plate. Uh, I'm going to move that away here for a second just so we can see it. And this represents the parts that were cut. If we go here and take a look at the nesting report we will see that uh, we used uh, 36 uh, 64 about 63% uh, of the, the yield here and we had a pretty good size sheet left over all right so uh, now we're going to come here and and let's uh, take this one now I like to have a lower left hand corner that's a sharp corner if I can so I'm going to come here and rotate this part 180 degrees in the z-axis so that I have my my lower left hand shape over here and I'll go ahead and hit control one to move it to the lower left hand corner at the current plate that just puts the corner here at zero zero now I'll go up here and I'll choose convert contour to plate and when doing that I've actually taken my other shape and converted it to a plate now I can come back here and en route and uh, let's try this one more time. Let's do nine of these. And we're going to use the left middle here and say apply. And so we can see on the, on the first sheet here, uh, we have nested as many as we can into this area. And here's some leftover material if I, if I still chose to uh, try and nest something in here. And over here we have... Uh, we have another part of the plate uh, where with some leftover material from what it couldn't fit on the first sheet. And at any time, you can use the cut by line tool to just uh, square off any particular area you want to get rid of. But uh, in this manner, you can you can pretty much use every little uh, every little inside part of an expensive material or something where just that extra material might make the difference between getting something on there or not. And the nesting, the, the remnant creation and nesting remnants will help you get the most out of your material usage.